Hey everyone, in this video we're going to explore more of the JSON mode in two files. First one is going to be a Python tutoring bookmaker, which is going to create this book-like uh, stuff for us with descriptions, examples, uh, exercises, and additional resources. Here we have 10 uh, chapters. And the second one is going to take in the Wikipedia article for Library of Babel and really extract quite a lot of complex stuff from it. I wanted to test the limits of the JSON to see how much information we can get out. So this is going to be an interesting one. With the Python tutoring bookmaker, we're going to loop over some Python concepts. So you can actually apply this to anything. I'm going to create a new directory so we can actually run this and see how it works while we go over the code. These code files will be available at my Patreon at the $9 tier. The link will be in the description. Uh, I, you'll also have access to over 170 plus other project files, depending on which tier you choose to become a member at. As you see, uh, we loop over the Python concepts, and then it's going to name the concept, give an explanation, give examples, give exercises, and give uh, some additional resources. We created the directory. So while this is going, we're going to uh, talk about the details, also the system message for it. Let's start with the system message. So our system message says you're a Python tutoring book writer for each Python concept provided, generated detailed explanation, examples, practice exercises, and additional resources. So, you know, you can really expand on this and it doesn't have to be a Python tutoring book writer, right? It can really be anything you like. Return your response as a JSON object exa exactly as defined. We do have to specify with JSON mode in the system message. You actually have to explicitly say JSON, otherwise the API will return an error. You do have to instruct it for that. I do say return all key value pairs for the JSON and don't forget any. Also do not add any additional fields other than the ones provided. Our JSON schema is concept, explanation, examples. Examples is a list. Exercises is going to be a list. Additional resources is a list. And then we're going to loop over this. We're going to first create a directory. Then we're going to have a list. You, you can m modify this list to any uh, objective you want to uh, work with. Then we're going to open the system message, which we just looked at. Uh, we're going to instantiate our client with our API keys here. And then we're going to loop over the Python concepts list right here. And we're going to enumerate over it so we get the numbering as well. So we can put in chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. Then we define our messages. System message is our system message. The user message is concept you're working on, which is the concept currently, which we are the concept in our loop from the list then we try to get a response from the latest model of course we set the response format to json object and we get the uh, streaming responses make sure that you know all responses from openai is not pydantic objects that's why when we initialize our responses string and when we append the chunk to it we do convert it to a string and we do print it so we can actually see it happening in our terminal Let's see we are all the way up to chapter four now which talks about exception handling for example it's pretty cool. This is, uh, you know, it can be pretty useful. After we have responses, we load it with json.loads, and then we uh, concept, we extract the concept, explanation, examples, exercises, and ad additional resources. And then we instantiate our content with the concept and the explanation, because remember, those were t strings. And then we're going to loop over examples and exercises. That's why we in initialized our content as a, a string. We're using the concept and explanation, which are strings, and then we loop over each example, and then we actually add them like this. Uh, so we try to add it with a content a comment. Sometimes this leads to some issues. I don't think it did in this case, but like like this. So you can you really uh, refine the logic, especially the system message, to get it working better. We loop over each example, exercises, and additional resources, and we uh, write them in like this, right? So we handle writing of this docs the text stuff as a as a doc string concept is a as a, a regular comment and the explanation is a doc string as you see right here the concept is variable basic and data types quick explanation and then we loop over and input all the examples and exercises and additional resources so uh we we plus add that right plus equals so we had initialized it loop over add it to content then just create uh, the chapter i that's why we are enumerating so we get all the uh, with each concept we get a number so we name it as chapter one whatever the concept name is and then we write it 
So this is pretty cool. I'll actually include this uh, books as well in the Patreon. Like I said, the link will be in the description. Now let's, I'm going to let this run, but let's start talking about the Library of Babel. I think this is a really fun one. If you do want to check out my other projects, uh, I have over 200 plus free coding videos at my website, echoive.live. You can simply browse through it. Uh, I have an instant search set up here. You can read the descriptions of each videos. And if you're a patron, you can find the code download links conveniently. I also have an Echoive Video Finder GPT, which actually uh, helps you find uh, appropriate URLs for the content that you're looking for. Uh, also with the code download links just like this. So I'll put this link in the description too. Also, I have a new app now called CodeHive. I'll put the link in the description. Please check it out. This one features over 900 uh, cheap GPT chat apps. So you can get some ideas, maybe combine them, get some interesting, uh, you know, get a quick start. It is a real-time search, for example. You can search for math. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You can also download all the apps from Patreon, if you choose to. There's about 960 of them, I believe. Also check out my GPT Masterclass, which talks about all the details of the API. This is available at the $30 tier. Link will be in the description. Our actually second book is down too. We have 10 chapters, as you see, uh, going over each concepts with examples and whatnot. Now let's move on to the uh, Library of Babel. Library of Babel is an interesting short story by an Argentine author. Louis, uh, George Louis Borges, I believe. So it's interesting that this library is consisting of books, uh, or infinite many books. Well, it's not actually infinite many. As a matter of fact, it, it has every combination of 22 letters, period, and the comma and space. So the idea is that this library contains all books that are written and all books that is to be written. It's an interesting concept. You can take a look at it. So I just went and grabbed the Wikipedia and actually pasted it here as library of Babel at the TXT. So it's not that long. And in the system message, so I have the Python book system message here, and this is the library of Babel system message. Here I said, you're a helpful information extractor. You will be given a document and you will extract, provide all necessary information about the document. Exactly as a given JSON schema, you will always provide all fields within the JSON. You will not make make up any additional fields. This is the JSON schema. So I tried to just kind of even make up some stuff. This, this, I said description of document, which is going to be a string. Concepts mentioned, which is going to be a dictionary. Key as the concept. Value is a brief description. Interesting words from document, which starts with D. So let's actually take a look at it. Interesting words which start with D. It was, it was Democritus and derivation. It actually did a pretty good job. All numbers mentioned in the document, as you see. Uh, we have all numbers mentioned in the document, uh, although sometimes you can make mistakes. All persons mentioned in the document, all dates mentioned in the document, all quotes mentioned in the document, all reference mentioned in the document. These are all lists. Uh, keywords that define the document. So here are some keywords that it extracted, which uh, is supposed to kind of define our document, right? Be a description of it. Uh, as you see, I accidentally made the, the D uppercase and it actually kept that. It's very good with instructions, the new model. All important words from the document is a list. All important words from the document with their frequencies is a dictionary. Uh, so it, it, made, it made mistakes. GPT-4 is not very good with counting, you know, the, this, doing this kind of stuff. But nevertheless, it, it, it did it. And this dictionary is, this is a, uh, this is a legit uh, JSON object with a dictionary in it. And the next one is all important words from the document with their frequency sorted. This is a list of dictionaries library, book, and it actually sorted it in order. Now the counts are not correct, but at least they are in the right order as far as uh, it has created here. There we go. So that's it. I mean, this was really interesting. We could have added more stuff, but this is uh, quite a lot of stuff. As you see, it's almost like 200 lines of structured information. Let's take a look at the code. Uh, I'll actually, we'll actually run this and see what's happening. See the description of document. And then concepts mentioned while this is going, let's talk about the code. Let me zoom in a little bit. So we do all our necessary imports. We import our library of Babel system message, which we talked about here. And then uh, we open the library of Babel text, which I copied from Wikipedia. We define our OpenAI client, which we have imported from OpenAI with our API key, either from our environment variables, or you can insert it directly in the script. Our messages list consists of a system message, which takes in from the uh, system 
message. We didn't really exactly use json.dumps, but uh, anyway, uh, user document you're working with is, and now we insert the library of Babel here, and we try to get a response using response for, format as we JSON mode, streaming true, then we initialize our responses string, get a chunk printed, append it to our responses, then we load it with json.responses, and now we uh, create a library of Babel.json file and json.dump, dump it with some nice indentation. So it is much readable, much more approachable. So this is it. Uh, as you see now, it's doing all important words from the document with their frequency sorted, and it's done. So here we go. Let's take a look at it again. Let's make sure we have all our necessary things from the system message. We have the description of document is a string, concepts mentioned is a dictionary. That's good. We have the interesting words from the document, which start with D. Uh, letter D, that is. So I just made that up, right? You can try it with different alternatives. All numbers mentioned in the document, all persons mentioned in the document, all dates mentioned comes next, all quotes mentioned in the document, all references mentioned in the document, keywords that define the document. So here we go. This is the next one. All important words from the document. And then all important words with the document with their frequencies is a dictionary. And then all important words from the document with their frequency sorted as a list like this. So it did it perfectly again. So I hope you enjoy this. Like I said, uh, these files will be available at Patreon. Link will be in the description. Also, don't forget to check out my new website, CodeHive. Uh, let me know what you think. You can actually uh, copy the code here, download it. You get 10 app clicks per day, but it's completely free unless you want to download all apps. Also, make sure to check out the GPT Masterclass as well. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.